The UK government is committed to resettling 20,000 Syrian refugees before May 2020. Many come to Coventry, where they get advice and support at the Coventry Refugee and Migrant Centre. Here, Heaven Crawley from Coventry University discusses with Marie Gillespie from the Open University their shared research into refugee journeys. I think one of the things that's clear from both of our research is the way in which the journeys have become both more protracted, longer, and more fragmented as a consequence of the policies that have been put in place. So it's very difficult for Syrian refugees actually to be able to access the protection to which they're entitled. And they're having to resort to smugglers and others to help them make those uh, journeys now. That's, uh, that's absolutely right. And our research at the Open University has found that the smartphone is an essential tool in making those journeys. It's not a luxury item, as, as the media often depict. And we were told by Syrian refugees that a phone, food and water, in that order, were the basic needs that they had in making the journey. And I think that's absolutely confirmed in our research too, that there is a lack of information, there's also misinformation. Information is very hard to come by. Yes. So in that context, any information that's available through the smartphone or otherwise becomes really vitally important if you want to join your family members and access protection. Marie's research is shedding light on how smartphones are a double-edged sword for refugees. One of our main findings is the smartphone has the capacity both to empower refugees, but also it's a very powerful surveillance tool in the hands of officials and governments. As a result of this, they use avatars and false uh, identities online, and they go digitally underground. But this exposes them to further dangers, for example, misinformation that's put out by smugglers, rumours, conspiracy theories, and so this can be a very, very precarious scenario. What I would hope for is an initiative that right from the very start involves refugees with a very clear identification of their needs in terms of information and news, and actually that's what our research delivers. And at the moment, one positive outcome is that the European Commission, we're hoping, will fund an initiative that will actually look into the provision of digital resources for refugees. And at the Open University, our, our research will feed into uh, plugging the gaps in information and news for refugees on their journeys.